Here we have to display the column names again in order to visualize the bar plots. We don't have to load the data frames, just display the column names and then we can copy and paste these column names over here. So let us run this cell. So these are the column names. And here we are going to plot the bar plot with x axis as a state name and y axis as a active cases by defining a particular color to that thing. And here the plot figure size is that is figure size equal to 13 comma 8 and plot dot x ticks with rotation equals to 90. So here this is used to rotate our label on x axis or else they are going to be overlapping and it will create a confusion. So when you use this rotation equal to 90 on x ticks, it will rotate the labels allowing us to see the label name. So now let us run this cell and see how the bar plot look like. So here this is the bar plot with the state name on x axis and active cases on y axis. So here you can observe that in this cell we have not taken the order as ascending order. So when we are not providing the ascending order the plot looks like this. Hence it will be like without any order. So here the maximum number of active cases are in Kerala. Next followed by Karnataka and next Assam. So in this way you can identify the number of total active cases in each state. So let's move forward and try to draw another bar plot with the x axis as state name and y axis as positive. So here also we have taken the figure size as 13 comma 8 and with rotation equal to 90. So here number of positive cases are maximum in Maharashtra then followed by Kerala, next Karnataka, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh. Likewise you can find out the state and its number of positive cases. So here we are going to visualize the bar plot with x axis as state name and y axis as cured with the plot size of 13,8 and plot dot x ticks rotation equal to 90. So let us run this cell. So similarly we are going to draw another bar plot which shows that the high number of deaths taking place in each state by taking x axis with state name and y axis with the death. So maximum number of deaths are taking place in Maharashtra, next in Kerala, next in Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. This is the code for next bar plot that is state name versus a new active cases. So the number of new cases are high in Kerala next followed by Karnataka followed by Assam. So in the similar way we can find all the states and the number of new cases new active cases in each state and this code is to find out the bar plot for new positive cases in each state so this is the graph which shows that the total number of new positive cases are high in maharashtra this one is for new cured cases so the number of new cured cases are high in maharashtra Next bar plot is for state name versus new death. So the death rates are also high in Maharashtra. And here again we have used column names. We have displayed all the column names over here. And here we have dropped the two columns that is the serial number and the state code. And here we have displayed the columns with the head that is uh, the initial five values we are displaying over here. So these are the initial five values. So in this 
cell we have setting the index as a state name and here again we are displaying the five values of the uh, data set that we are provided with and in the next cell we have created a stack bar plot and as you can see over here we have key and each color representation for particular column like this queued is represented with purple death is represented with the black So here this blue color stands for active, orange stands positive, green stands for cured. So this is a stack bar plot of the data set that we have. So using this cell we are plotting the bar plot for cured and death cases. So cured is represented with purple and death is represented with the black. So here you can find out the cured and death cases, the count of the cases. Again here we have a bar plot for positive case and death rate. So here also you can find with two different colors. Next is for death and cured cases. And here this plot is for active and death cases so here in this case you can find that number of death cases are high in Maharashtra and number of active cases are high in Kerala so likewise using all these different bar plots you can identify or you can analysis the situation of COVID so that's all about our project so what we have done over here is that we have loaded the data, we have imported our libraries first, downloaded the data set from this website and then we have uh, used some functions like shape, is null sum, info, describe, keys, n unique function on the available data to understand it in a better way. Then after understanding our data, to get in-depth understanding, we perform some visualization techniques like starting with the pair plot and is displayed in scatter plots and then we have created a subset frame and we have created a pie chart. So these are the different pie charts we have taken for different data sets. We have taken for a different columns and after this we have tried to draw the bar plots. So these are the bar plots. So in this way we can analyze the situation of COVID in day to day. So that's it for this video. Hope you all like this video.